While Mary was pregnant with Jesus, the emperor, Augustus Caesar, decided to count all the citizens of the Roman Empire. So everyone was required to go to their hometown to be registered in the list. Joseph, Mary's husband, was from a town called Bethlehem, and it was a long journey to get there from Nazareth. By the time they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary was about to give birth very soon. They looked for a place to stay, but because there were so many people who had come to town, it was impossible to find a room. Everyone sent them away. But finally, one of the landlords had mercy on them and offered to let them stay in his stable. Inside this little stable, Mary gave birth to Jesus. They wrapped him in some clothes and laid him down in the manger that was used to feed the animals. Shortly before Jesus was born, there was a group of scholars who studied the stars to understand how they affect current and future events. They lived far from Israel, somewhere near where Iran is located today. One night, they saw an extraordinary new constellation. They looked it up in their books to find out its meaning. It meant that a new, very special king had just been born in Israel. Knowing this, they went on the long journey to Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. There, they visited the current king because they assumed that he had just had a son. But the king had no idea what they were talking about. He asked his own scholars, who studied the Jewish Bible, what this all could mean. They found prophecies that this special king was to be born in Bethlehem. So the king sent his visitors there. Arriving in Bethlehem, they found the stable. There they were filled with joy, seeing Jesus, the newborn king, and they gave him precious presents, gold, incense, and myrrh. When the wise men from the east visited the Jewish king and learned where they would find Jesus, the king, Herod, told them to let him know when they found the child so that he could also bring him gifts. But that wasn't really what he wanted. He was afraid of losing his power to this newborn king, so he decided to kill him. The wise men had a dream on their way back to Jerusalem. God warned them to not return to Herod or to tell him about Jesus. That night, Joseph also had a dream. He was visited once again by an angel, a messenger from God, who told him, King Herod wants to kill Jesus. Take him and Mary and leave the country. So Joseph took his family and traveled to Egypt. After they had left, soldiers of King Herod arrived in Bethlehem and killed every boy there who was younger than two years old. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus lived in Egypt as refugees until King Herod had died. 